In a previous video, I demonstrated how I installed macOS Sequoia and macOS Ventura on this beautiful 15 plus year old MacBook Pro mid-2009, all in a bid to find a suitable operating system for this device, one which is both current and up to date. If you missed this video, kindly check in the video description. Here, I will be demonstrating how I carried out the installation of the latest versions of Pop! OS and Linux Mint to this MacBook Pro. These are the current configurations of this device. I opened the internet browser and searched for Pop! OS Download. I select the option that takes me to the Pop! OS main website. I click the download link and select Download 22.04 LTS to begin the download of the ISO file. I also search online for HR software, which I will be using to create the installation media. I visit Balena HR website and download and install HR for Mac OS. I open the HR app and select Flash from file. I select the downloaded Pop! OS ISO file from the download folder and I select Open. I get this unknown error from the app, so I decide to look for an alternative way to create the installation media. I found out that Etcher version 1.18.11 is a stable version of the software, so I go ahead to locate and download the .dmg file of this version of Etcher from GitHub. When the download is completed, I install the app. After the installation, I open the app and click Flash from File. I select the downloaded Pop! OS ISO file from the download folder and click Open. I click Select Target and select my USB Flash Media. A device of not less than 16GB in size is suitable for this operation. Back up your flash media if you have anything important on it, as everything on it will be erased in the process. I click flash and the media creation commences. I enter my system password when prompted. The flashing and validation lasts for about 4 minutes and the flashing is completed. When this message pops up, I click Eject. I am now ready to install Pop! OS to this 15 plus year old Mac device. I restart the MacBook Pro and hold down on the Options key. I select the EFI option and Pop! OS goes through a boot up process for a few minutes before eventually landing on this screen. I select a language and a keyboard layout. I select Clean Install and Proceed. I select the SSD drive and click Erase and Install. I enter the user account name and click Next. I choose a password, confirm it and click Next. I select Don't Encrypt to turn off drive encryption. The installation proceeds and runs for 18 minutes and I am prompted to restart the system. I reboot the system, enter my password and I now have a fresh installation of Pop! OS 22.04 on this 15 plus year old MacBook Pro. For the installation of Linux Mint 22 on this Apple MacBook Pro 13 inch mid-2009, I search for Linux Mint download and select the option that takes me to the Linux Mint main website. Here I find the various editions of Linux Mint 22. I click download to download the Cinnamon edition of Linux Mint 22. When the download completes, I open Etcher, I click flash from file, I select the downloaded Linux Mint ISO file from the download folder and I click Open. I click Select Target and select my USB flash media. A device of not less than 16GB in size is suitable for this operation. 
I click Flash and the media creation commences. I enter my system password when prompted. The flashing and validation lasts for about 6 minutes and the flashing is completed. When this message pops up, I click Eject. I am now ready to install Linux Mint 22 to this 15 plus year old MacBook Pro. I restart the MacBook Pro and hold down on the Options key. I select the EFI boot option. On this boot up screen, I select the first option to proceed. Linux Mint boots up to the Linux Mint desktop and I double click the Install Linux Mint program to install the operating system to this device. I select a language, I select a keyboard layout, I tick Install Multimedia Codecs and click Continue. I select the option for a fresh install and I select a location. I enter the user account name and I choose a password. I select login automatically and I click continue. The installation proceeds and runs for 15 minutes and I am prompted to restart the system. I reboot the system and I now have a fresh installation of Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon on this MacBook Pro 13 inch mid 2009. From my tests, I like to say that both operating systems performed much better than I had expected from this 15 plus year old Mac device, with Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon performing much better than Pop OS 22.04. If you are interested in how both of these operating systems performed on this device, when I tested them out and compared them to Mac OS Sequoia and Mac OS Ventura, kindly check in the video description. If you have any questions about these installations, you could leave them in the comment section. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye for now.